In a world among many gospel giants, one small man of very humble beginnings dared to make a difference. Bringing gospel grace from Lucille Pope, the mighty clouds of joy, Tommy Ellison, the spiritual heirs, spiritual QCs, and the like to the area, he was able to make a tremendous impact on gospel music on a local and national level as a radio announcer and gospel music promoter. To us, he was dad. But to others, he was Jesse Hatcher Jr., the radio announcer. Gentlemen, this is Jesse Hatcher coming on the air this Sunday morning at 6.45. Tune in from 6 until 12 noon with the very best in gospel music that you will hear anywhere. Jesse Hatcher Jr., the gospel music and event promoter. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Jesse Hatcher Jr., the musician and singer. And Jesse Hatcher Jr., the manager. He hailed from a small, unincorporated town in Musella, Georgia, but managed to build a gospel music empire that allowed him to meet, manage, and mingle with local, national, and international gospel artists and entertainers. One thing about it, uh, when I wanted to get into that gospel field, I started working at the radio station, which is WXKO, WXKO radio station in Fort Valley. And also I left that station and went to WQ106 in Fort Valley and played gospel there. And I went to uh, WPGA uh, in Perry. And then I did radio in Fort in uh, Macon, Georgia, WIBB. And I just liked the gospel music. I was a gospel DJ and that's what I wanted to be. Okay. And, uh, he also managed local groups like the Clark Sisters and helped others to go into the studio and record. Help celebrate the life, his love, and his legacy. Respect to one of the legs. first times when you decided, you know, hey, you know, I think I'd like to play this uh, this music out here for the world. Well, see, when I was back in the younger days, that was my younger days, and I felt like that uh, if I get out there in the gospel field and probably had some people that interested in listening to good gospel music to change the people's over to the Holy Spirit. And so and so that's what I wanted to get into and so we did had to change a lot of people in my promotion. And then plus people come out to my shows and all over, all out of America, Georgia, all Benny, Atlanta, everywhere. I just come to see Jesse Hatchett doing his gospel show. That was my way of having fun and I enjoyed doing it for the people and for myself. But I always like to play my music. People will call me and request me to play a certain song. But I like to try to play the songs that I like, and I feel like that the people will like that that says. Jesse Hatcher Jr., remembering the years, kingdom building through gospel music. Well, me and Jesse go back a long ways. We're doing the time when Jesse was most of the MCN program, promoting programs. I would do a lot of videos for him. Was, was he good at his job? He was very good. He, was, was, he done an excellent job for promoting groups, also being on the radio every Sunday playing good gospel songs, the old and the new, that people love to hear. So you think people look forward to um, to going to his shows during that time frame? Yes, we were most, he mostly had a full house when they when he uh, booked programs, such as Violin Mills or some of the gospel songs, or different local, he had mostly mixed groups, the locals and the professional groups and he had a crowd when he did. As we look here, do you know who uh, this particular person is on the screen there now? Yes, sir, that's Tommy Ellison. That's Tommy Ellison. And the five singing stars. Now, is that a show that's that a, you did? That's a show that I did, the superstar. They call him the superstar. They call him Tommy the, Ellison. Tommy Ellison. And the five singing stars from Chicago. Is that right? So, do you mean he tell me you had him coming from uh, other states? Other states. All the right? way from New York, California, the mighty clouds of joy, all the way out of California, Swanee Quintet from Augusta, Georgia, the Pilgrim Jubilee from Windy City of Chicago. I get to bring them all in the city. I get them now, well, how did you meet these people? How did you know about them? Uh, well, see, once I got into radio, and uh, they start sending me their albums from their recording studio companies and everything, that's how I got in touch with a lot of these groups that I used to bring in the city. Okay, all right. So like Sister just... Lucille Pope, she was one of my favorites. That's how I really I got started in radio with Sister Pope. Sister Pope was the first gospel group that I ever brought in the city of Fort Valley. Is that right, Sister Pope? Sister okay. Lucille Pope and the Prairie Gates of Atlanta, Georgia. They were well from Griffin, but they in Atlanta now. Okay. Well, do you remember the very first day that you, you got into radio or? 
Well, yeah, I can sort of swing back to the day, the very first time I got in the radio. But I can't remember the exact day what it was. It was way back there, probably in 6 to 7, 6 to 8, 6 to 9, somewhere like that. I got trophies and stuff that I used to have my anniversaries and stuff. People used to give me trophies and stuff. And I got all those at my studio at my house.